기다리셨죠? <웃음> 난마스크거리다나우이어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스크어웨어마스
uh, certain character traits or whatever that really stand out or what have you will go and actually really engage a casual viewer. So now you have the storyline, who's the star, expectations, all that kind of good stuff. Let's get deeper into it. So here's what we have as far as deeper into the story. The main character, Kim Mi, has craved fame and attention all of her life. But as she grew older, she wasn't deemed necessarily attractive. So she starts to fade into the background. However, on the internet, she's the lively, intriguing, sexy masked girl who men love. So she struggles with the anonymity of being an internet star, but then being ignored by men in real life. Through some really dark real life events and people, she starts to transform into her internet personality. Now this series has a myriad of themes running through it, like online identity versus real life, attention versus anonymity, obsession versus acceptance, looks versus personality, and so many other things. So the story kind of gives vibes of kind of like swim fan and basic instinct. If I really want to relate it to some movies that exist out there, that's what kind of comes to my mind. Sometimes the dubbing of English makes some of the dialogue seem weird, and that causes some distractions in some scenes. But overall, the story is solid, and mains will really dig it. Casuals should be engaged as well, but they might find some of the dialogue a little off-putting here and there. In regards to the acting, Elaine Wang as Kim Mo Mi is very good in this. She goes through so many emotions and situations in the first two episodes that you'll feel like it's a roller coaster. Sometimes you'll be down with her, and then there's other times you'll be like, why are you even doing that? But the portrayal is very good. Her voiceover actress did a very good job of conveying emotions and excitement throughout this. So very good there. There are some other decent characters in this that add to her performance. And because you know how I am about pronouncing names, instead of me attempting to pronounce these names, I'm just going to go to actually put them below here, like, like this guy right here. And he plays like one of her uh, lowly co-workers of hers. And it was a good performance there. So overall, the acting performances are above average in this particular series. So I like the acting and I think both mains and casuals are going to be on board with it. Some other thoughts that I have for this series. Some of the dubbing voices were a bit much, but not as bad as I've seen in other productions. There were some weird music scores going on here as well in episodes that I believe detracted from some of the scenes. And they're, they're very off-putting, the, the, just the types of genres that they went ahead and actually went with it. It was like a weirdly scored series. But this series has some interesting things to say about isolation in the age of the internet. Sometimes people have experienced so many negative encounters in their real life that they retreat to the safety and then anonymity of the online world. There they can become popular, or they can become stars, or they can become famous. It may be their true selves or a fake persona. And there's others who transform into the very people that they even seek refuge from, meaning that they can become bullies or worse. When we're able to retreat into another reality, it can validate us or it can enable our dark selves to emerge. Mask Girl goes deep into this type of thought process. But those are all my thoughts for this. Let me give you my verdict. For main target audience members, people that like crime thrillers and definitely dark type of psychological thrillers, I'm going to say watch the first two episodes. The main character is very good. And the story moves quick enough to get to main plot points quickly. And then seeing the development of the main character in the first episode and her evolution to the second one will give main target audience members a good look into where the series is going. For casuals, I'm going to say give it a one episode watch. The story and acting is entertaining enough to keep a casual engaged. Within the first episode, a casual can determine if the story and main characters is something that they want to stick with. At the very least, you'll have some good dynamics of just how shallow 
other cultures can be if you're not from Korea. Because as we all know, we can be pretty shallow ourselves here in like North America. So again, for main target audience members, I'm going to say watch the first two episodes. For casual viewers, I'm going to say give it a one episode watch. And that's what I have for Mask Girl on Netflix. Check it out. 여러분, 제 얼굴이 궁금해요? You stayed for the entire review. I appreciate you. Do me a favor. If you liked anything on here, go ahead and actually click like. If you really like this and you want to see more reviews, go ahead and actually click subscribe. You can also watch one of my other reviews here to go ahead and actually see if you want to see any more. But until my next time, I'll holla at you. Take care of yourself.